Hey guys, welcome back to J Ride Flips. My name is Jake Ryder. I'm a full-time eBay reseller out of the state of Utah. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my eBay setup, my personal life, uh, how much money I actually make and how much you can make on eBay, and just do kind of a kind of a dive into um, some of the some of those things to just have complete transparency um, on this YouTube channel. And, and I'm really here to show people that this can be done and it can be profitable if you follow the right processes. And so yeah, hope you like it, let's jump in. Okay, sweet, so I do have an employee who just got off her shift. Um, I'll get more into, into that side of things later. She is my mom, uh, she does a great job. So first thing that I do is I, I, uh, I thrift in the morning. Uh, my, my first thrift store opens at nine. So I go at nine. And I go to my thrift stores and then I come home, I put everything in this bucket. This is the to be processed. Then at this station, my mom cleans all of the items that, I, that I've bought in the day. And she transfers it over to here. This is the uh, hard goods bucket. And then this is the uh, clothing bucket. Got a lot of Doc Martens today, which was awesome. So once everything's cleaned up, she puts it in there. Then from there... I bring a bucket over to here. This is my listing setup. So I've got, I've got, this is kind of like a little, little mini hallway. I've got my chair here. I've got my photo station with these lights. I've got a few things here to help me to make the listing process easier. Once I've listed an item, if it's something that I label, I skew. I skew about 60% of my items. Put it down into that bucket to be skewed later and then all the other items i have a place for them in my garage which is right behind me come into the garage um this is my i've got some golf clubs here these are all remote controls a couple a few other electronics i've got my big electronics on this back wall including some boxes Got some more VCR players, a few printers and massagers here. Got some vacuum parts there. Then I've got some small miscellaneous electronics. Here I've got a bunch of cameras and then some mid-size electronics. Um, these are my big old things of bubble wrap. Over here we've got all my sunglasses. We've got some kitchen appliances. These are my lots. Um, I'll make a different video on lots in the future. Um, I buy some things in bulk and uh, yeah, we'll talk about lots later. Then I've got some shoes. Um, I'm not a huge re shoe reseller. I did pick up a ton of shoes today though, which is nice. I've got some more um, household items. This is just office supply, some random items, some more sporting goods, some more sporting goods, a couple more household and, and uh, kitchen items. And I've got some wallets and just some randomness here. But yeah, let's go to what my setup looks like. Mix in, I've just got a few personal items like my dog food and these beds, things like that. But yeah, I mean, let's see, two car garage. I'm not sure what the square footage on that is. I think it's probably just Probably just over 400, maybe 500. And then here, this is probably one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about 30 square feet right there. And then this room is probably, it's a smaller sized room. Um, this is probably, probably about, definitely under 200 square feet, maybe, maybe 160. So yeah, I run my whole eBay business out of out of about I don't know six to seven hundred square feet. Um, my goal has been to just grow, grow, grow. But now, as I'm starting to implement YouTube, I would love to make the same amount of money from my YouTube as I do from my eBay listing business selling. So. I don't know. I think I'm at 2,000 items active right now. Um, I'm probably going to get to about, I don't know, 
I'm thinking now maybe 3,000, maybe 3,500. I'll definitely be able to fit all of that in my two-car garage. And then just see where YouTube takes me. Um, I don't know. I'm not afraid of, of growth. I'm also not afraid of YouTube taking over a big chunk of my time. Just just a guy in his, in his office and in his garage trying to make a living. So we'll see what happens. And I'll, you guys will be able to watch the journey along with me. So thanks. This is just a quick run through. All right, um, I also want to just, you know, start off on a good note with full transparency. Uh, so I want to kind of break down my numbers for you real quick. Um, so these are my numbers. Here, here off to the left, these are my custom SKUs. Uh, so sunglasses, remotes, cameras, handheld electronics, all those things. Just keep me organized there. And then this is, this is how much money I make. Um, so yeah, every time I hear my phone ding, Every time I hear it go cha-ching, my sales price is about $43, $42.64 to be exact. Sometimes I sell something for $15 shipped, sometimes it's $400 shipped, a lot of times it's $40, sometimes it's $60, sometimes it's $24. But when it all gets combined together, my average sales price is $42.64. I pay an average fee of $5.79. My average shipping label, I pick a, I ship mostly small things, but a few medium things and a lot of big things, $7.30, and then tax is $2.56. So my gross profit is $26.99. Make 27 bucks every single time I hear my phone, cha-ching, make $27. Then, um, I, I've... I've broke it down of how much I pay my mom per hour, the amount of work she does. I boiled it down to how much I pay her per item. Every item that comes in and out of my eBay store, my mom gets paid 40 cents. Then the packing materials is 15 cents. My gas, that's not the most accurate number. Um, I did some, I did some pretty deep um, analysis on it and it could be anywhere from 18 to 26 cents per item. I just put 20. My storage, um, 25 cents per item um, because I did have a storage unit because I just moved to this bigger house um, and I just haven't stopped paying for the storage unit yet even though it's almost completely empty. Yeah, I still include it. So that is $25.99, $26.99. ,99. I wrote that wrong, but whatever. Then on my returns, every single item that I ship out, I have an average return cost of $1.62. Um, my return rate is about 4.5%. So obviously, I'm not getting charged $1.62 every single time I ship out an item. It's just every time I ship out 21 items, one of them gets returned for an average of about costing me out of pocket about $12.00 times that over the course of the year of how many products I sell. And yeah, $1.62. Then that leaves me with $24.47. So yeah, that is my actual profit after all expenses. Every single time I hear cha-ching, I just made about 24 and a half bucks. And then I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a religious person. I pay tithing on, on all my earnings. So that's another $2.45 to the Lord. So every single time here to Chini, $22 or so goes to my bank account. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a quick breakdown of my numbers. I want things to be as transparent as possible. I know a lot of people on YouTube complain about people lying about their numbers, fudging their numbers. None of that here. Um, this is This is the money that I make and this is the money that you can make if you work really hard on perfecting your craft. And, and I want you guys to make more than that because I want to make more than that too. So we're just going to keep getting that number up and up as we learn more and do more. Guys, while we're here on the topic of transparency, I also wanted to talk about um, the support that I get or don't get from being a full-time reseller. Um, I know a lot of people don't have full support or even partial support from their significant other or their spouse or their parents or, or anyone else involved in their lives. I just want you guys to know that every situation is different and nothing's ever going to be perfect. 
Uh, but I just consider myself very blessed because I do have full support of, of my wife. Um, she's a very awesome type A personality, very tidy. We keep our home very clean, very open. And uh, I foresaw, I've only been married for about 10 months. I foresaw a few issues with the eBay business, running it from home, with just how un, untidy and uncluttered it can be. But no, she is perfectly fine with it. I make sure that everything is in that 700 square feet of, of space that we talked about. She's very supportive of me having all of the items as long as they're organized, as long as they're in their place. Um, she has no issue with me running my own business. She uh, does not think what I do is laughable at all. She sees it as a, as a legitimate business, as do I, and she's, she's very supportive. Um, I know a lot of you, depending on how big this, this YouTube channel grows, will want to see her and learn about her. I know how cruel and terrible the world can be, and especially how YouTube and Facebook can be. I don't plan on introducing her into the channel anytime soon, maybe never. I'm expecting to be completely torn to shreds <laughs> in the comments. It's, 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 it's just part of, part of the business, you know. But I just, my wife and I have talked about it. If I were to ever create a sizable YouTube channel, I don't think I will be introducing her just because she's the most amazing woman in the world and people will still find a way to make fun of her, attack, attack insecurities, create new insecurities. So yeah, we'll talk about it as it goes down the line, but I don't believe that uh, I will be introducing my wife too much into the channel. Things may change, but I just know how ridiculous people can be and I do not want to put my wife in a situation where it compromises her. Her mental health can lead to more anxiety and depression and things like that, just no. But yeah, you guys have at me. I, I understand that I can, I can be a perfect person. I can do everything correct and people will still have an issue with me, my personality, the way I'm doing things. It's whatever. Be as brutal as you can and it's all right. Um, so yeah, just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Every, every step along this journey, I want, I just want people to see that it can be done. You can do it your own way but it's important to communicate with those around you. It's important to work really hard. It's important to be consistent and nothing is given, it's all earned. So let's go out there and let's let's make a living for ourselves. All right guys, so there's just a uh, quick rundown of a couple of the, the components of my business. Uh, like I've said over and over again in this video, I just wanna be as transparent as possible, show you guys different uh, aspects of my business and my personal life that allow me to um, run a successful Small business uh, selling junk online. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I do do a lot of shirts. And, uh, only men's shirts. I don't mess around with the women's stuff. Just a little too complicated for me. But I've got just a whole garage. Sorry, a whole closet of men's clothing items. I think there's about 250 items in there right now. But yeah, if you guys have made it this far, I would uh, appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, I don't know. This uh, this YouTube thing is actually a little funner than I thought it would be. Hopefully I can uh, continue this consens consistency momentum and see what comes of this. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have a great time. I'll see you next video.